Good evening, Nintendo fans. My name is Amiibo Jason, and welcome to the Daily Wiretap for the evening of March 20th, 2017. Every evening, the Daily Wiretap takes a look at the biggest stories in the world of Nintendo as seen on NintendoWire.com and wraps it up into a nice, neat little package so you don't have to. So without further ado, let's get going. First up this evening, GameStop has confirmed an in-store Switch restock on March 22nd. Just a few days ago, we reported that GameStop would be receiving a new shipment of Nintendo Switch units sometime this week. We've now received confirmation that Switch units will be in store on March 22nd at select GameStop locations. That's this Wednesday. Keep in mind the arrival days and times may vary depending on location, so if you're one of those people who's been trying to hunt down a system, we recommend calling your store to check the status of their deliveries. There's no word yet on how this restock will affect online availability for Nintendo's newest system, but we'll make sure to keep you posted as new information becomes available. Looking to save a little bit more money on that Nintendo Switch too? GameStop is offering a cool $150 trade-in value for a Wii U or a 3DS, $175 for an Xbox One, and a whopping $200 for a trade-in of a PlayStation 4 system. The 3DS value alone might be worth it for many Nintendo fans. Next up this evening, Breath of the Wild's director was inspired by Terraria and Minecraft. One of the most fascinating aspects of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is the way it plays with conventions established by a decade's worth of popular sandbox games. From crafting recipes to weapon durability and open-ended exploration, many parts are familiar, yet unique. Now the game's director has confirmed some of these suspicions in an interview with Edge magazine. He was asked what inspired and influenced him to make this game, and this was his response. I was rather inspired by playing Minecraft and Terraria. I was able to learn from the gameplay and the possibilities found in it. I could learn from the sense of adventure, exploration, and how it inspired curiosity. He goes on to say, More than anything, what's influenced my personal understanding of what a Zelda game should be has been the teachings I've received from Shigeru Miyamoto in the 15 years since the Oracle games. I really feel that it's not because of knowledge or experience that I'm here working as a developer on Zelda, but because of the people. Here's hoping we get even more behind the scenes information in the weeks and months ahead. And finally this evening, we have a bit of speculation for you. A new Pokemon game could be headed to the Switch. Game Freak is recruiting. This one's a doozy, folks. A new job listing for a 3D CG designer and character modeler has been added to the Game Freak page, leading many to speculate what this could mean for the next Pokemon game. When translated, the general descriptions include the jobs with these details. 3D CG designer. An opportunity to be involved in the development of a worldwide popular RPG. Since it is a title that's been released for a long time, the development environment is also very well set. The listing goes on to say it's looking for a character modeler who will perform character modeling work in the consumer game department project. Even further into the posting, we learn that the people that will be creating these character models will be designing tune-like figures, monsters, and items. With Game Freak most well known for developing Pokemon, it's conceivable that this call for designers will be applied to whatever new project the company is currently working on in the Pokemon series. And it's no secret that the Switch is in the spotlight right now, so who knows? It's possible these new positions could be hinting at something involving Nintendo's brand new console. And that's gonna wrap up another edition of the Daily Wiretap for the evening of March 20th, 2017. As always, you can find a link in the description below to our full written article and head over to NintendoWire.com for all of your Nintendo news needs. Until tomorrow, bye guys.